Um, you know, I'm, I'm old, but I know there are some people here that are a little bit older than me. So some of you may remember Mill's method. I definitely don't. I wasn't even born then, but Mill's method was a method that was, um, that came out, uh, you know, in the late 30s, early 40s. It was very simple, but it was not very accurate. The industry needed a better method. And uh, the API RP11L, which by the way, RP stands for recommended practice, and 11L is the committee number that came up with it, in case you were wondering what this, these abbreviations mean. That came out in the 50s. You know, now, at that time, that was state of the art. Um, but the method was applied you know, to steel rods only, conventional units only, no single bars, and so forth, because that's what mostly what we had at the time. So that started becoming obsolete you know, as more equipment, would, you know, like the Mark II was developed, the air balance unit, those, that was not originally in the aprp 11 l Then uh, fiberglass rods came out, and actually they came out later. But uh, at the same time that the aprp 11 l was being developed and, and used, uh, Shell Oil Company and uh, Dr. Sam Gibbs came up with a wave equation which was a much better way, a much more accurate way of designing rod pumping systems. But the wave equation was not by no means easier to use. It was actually more difficult to use than the API RP11L because the original version of it, you had to have a mainframe computer to use to, to, to run it on and you had to know what line to put your variables and it was not very user friendly. The Roadstar program came in the early 90s. It was a first attempt to make this process easier. You know, personal computers um, would became more available at that time, and they were becoming faster. So it was feasible to put this method on the on the personal computer. Um, the Roadstar program has been around for a while, and it's very easy to use. Then we came out with the Roadstar D, the deviated version, in 2006. And now we have another program to add to this evolution, and that's XROD. All right, all right, let's, so let's talk about XROD. What is this XROD program? Well, the, it's the first program of its kind to use artificial intelligence to design the rod pumping system for you faster than you can ever imagine. Um, and you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to have 20 years of experience to get good designs. And for those of you that have used Rodstar, I mean, you know Rodstar is pretty fast, but this program is 10 to 50 times faster than Rodstar. Now, before Rodstar was developed, this was the procedure that somebody had to go through to design a rod pumping system. It was trial and error, basically. You had to guess at the pumping speed, the plunger size, the rod grade and uh, design of your rod string, uh, the pumping unit that you needed and the stroke length, and then you would run the software. You know, as this graph shows, you know, if, if uh, you got your target production, great. Let's look at the next thing. But if you didn't get your target production, you would have to go back and change something. Either go faster or use a bigger pump, or maybe a stroke length, a bigger stroke length, and so forth. Uh, you might have to go through this loop several times just to get your production. But that's not sufficient, right? You need to also look at your rod loading and your gearbox loading. If the rods are overloaded, then you might have to go back and change your rod grade. If you're using you know, C rods, you might want to go to D if the C rods are overloaded. If the D rods are overloaded, you go to, to Norris 97 or some other high strength rod. Um, but what about the gearbox? You know, if the gearbox is overloaded, then you might have to go change the stroke length of the unit. Use a smaller stroke length. But if you use a smaller stroke length, your production is going to go down. So you have to adjust the pumping speed. And you get the idea, you know, with this method, you know, you can spend, you can make, you know, I don't know, 20, 25 runs to get everything to work out. That takes time, and by the time you're done, you may not feel like doing this again <laughs> for, for a different unit or different combination of plunger and stroke length and so forth. So this is what we were trying to simplify by using Rodstar, which came out in the early 90s. So with Rodstar, you know, you can enter your target production. You can put in the grade that you would like to use for the rods, including single bars. You would enter your diameter limits that you want to stay within. 
you would enter the pumping unit in stroke length, you would run it, the program would automatically calculate the pumping speed, the pump size, it would automatically design the raw string and so forth. And if the gearbox was overloaded, you simply went to a bigger unit or a smaller stroke length. If the, gear, if the rods are overloaded, you go to stronger rods and so forth. So th this would take a lot less. You know, maybe with two or three runs, you're done. But now we, we have the ability to go a step further. And that is, with this new x program, the, the process is as even simpler than that. And actually, I, don't, I can't imagine being any simpler. Like, you can put in your pump depth, put in your target production, run, and you're done. But not only, not only is, is that simpler, but you can do it for up to eight different pumping units simultaneously. Eight different pumping unit types, like a conventional Mark II, air balanced, reverse Mark, Rotoflex. Now, what, what are the steps involved for using x -Rod? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to set up the program. You need to tell the program what rods you prefer to use, um, what pumping units you like to look at. Then, you, then after you do that, that's a one-time thing. Then you go in, you put in your pump depth, you, go, you, you put in your target production, and you run, and you're done. So this is the setup screen that you have to complete the first time. It's very simple. You know, you say, use steel rods only, or use fiberglass with steel on the, 